Yo, you guys, what is going on? It's Blazonary here. And today in this video, I have like a video that I've wanted to make the first second that I saw the leaks, the images of the product that I'm about to show you. Judging from the title, you already know. We're gonna go ahead, go through a full unboxing process, and then go ahead and compare the Louis Vuitton AirPods, earphones, earbuds, whatever you wanna call them, versus the Apple AirPods. So whenever I think the pictures got leaked, it was like January 18th or something like that, and I was like, oh my God, this would be perfect. Perfect. And then a couple days later, my rep at Louis Vuitton at the King of Prussia Mall happened to hit me up and sent me all the different colorway options that day. So I was looking through and I decided that I personally like the white set the best. And the order process unfortunately took a very long time time which is why you guys are seeing this video just a little bit late had to get them shipped to me from the location and it's just a process when you live out in the middle of nowhere so i finally got the headphones in today and i'm making this video asap because i have to get it up right before the super bowl which is why this video is not going to be going up on a sunday instead you guys are seeing it on a saturday because nobody's going to be freaking watching videos on sunday everybody's going to be paying attention to the super bowl so without further ado let's go ahead and start the unboxing process of the package right here haven't even touched it and we're gonna go ahead get into it I'm very excited because I haven't even seen these earbuds in person and they were a thousand dollars and I'm doing it because not only do I want to collect it Louis Vuitton products and collabs you know like this that really interests me but I also thought it would be a great video I mean I'm gonna keep them so might as well make a video about them so we open it up we got some white tissue paper this is the shipping process from Louis Vuitton so this is sort of like a Louis review too kind of giving you guys the experience you get when you buy the earbuds all right, so, ooh, goodbye. This is what we're left with. We have a standard orange Louis Vuitton box and it comes with a little card attached to it. So let's go ahead and see what this card is. It says absolutely nothing. <laughs> absolutely nothing. Good. Thank you for the nice wrapping though. Pull the bow. Hey, Angel, quit playing with it. No, come up here. Show everyone your face. Let's go. You can't be doing that back there. I'm trying to make a vid. All right, so let's go ahead and unravel the wrap. Comes in a standard orange Louis Vuitton box, which if you guys didn't know, has magnets. So you can easily open and close. Open it up. I'm assuming this is gonna be our receipt. So I'll take a look at that real quick before I look at the product. So the receipt always comes in like a Louis Vuitton card. Open it up. Why did my robot just make a weird what the f the cat is freaking out bruh so i paid one thousand fifty four dollars and seventy cents tax was 60 bucks so that's actually really good and the price is 9.95 the headphones themselves are not actually made by louis vuitton instead they already exist like the headphones you can buy them for three hundred dollars i keep saying headphones earbuds the earbuds you can buy for $300 that have no Louis Vuitton logo on them whatsoever. I feel like that's a pretty important factor in this whole collab is that you're paying $700 for a Louis Vuitton logo. And I guess there's also another $12 charge. I'm not sure what that was for, but I'm not sure if it was shipping because it was overnighted. It's always overnighted for free usually. Open it up and the first thing that we notice right off the bat is of course the earbud display and you have your case right here, which, ooh, this has got some weight to it heavy we have also two other little holder spot thingies right here so <laughs> open that we got a little baggie and another little baggie these are all the different sizing for the headphones but it comes in a nice louis vuitton dust bag and in the other one you have the charging cable seems like it's a pretty long cord but it's got a very very nicely little wrapped case around it that says louis vuitton on the steel button which i feel like is a very nice detail you can actually keep this little thing on it so this cord is even a flex too this is like a louis vuitton cord it says lv right on the little charging ports a usb adapter even if i wanted to use this with a usb i could pop this open which is gonna also reveal a little card. And I'm going to assume the entire Horizon Earphones manual. So these are the official name is the Horizon Earphone. Wow, that was quite a little unboxing process. 
I bet you people didn't know about that little compartment there. It's kind of subtle in my opinion. So Blazing Dairy, why did you buy these? Why did you spend $1,000 on these? Love Louis Vuitton and I collect Louis Vuitton, but I also think that these headphones are going to be something within a year or two because you have the product and it releases now. It may or may not sell out, who knows, right? And you're gonna see your favorite celebrities wearing it. Influencers holding onto this item. It's like a first ever, I feel like. Louis Vuitton has really never done electronic things. I know they're doing a watch right now. I couldn't tell you anything off the top of my head else that they've done that's in electronics. I'm also assuming too, if you guys plan to resell them, don't wear them. So I personally got mine in embossed or whatever the term would be, uh, engraved. She said something about I could choose like, I think five or six colors and then I could just choose my initials. So I did GP of course, cause John Carlo Perch. And I chose red because I really wanted it to stand out. Go ahead and test the zipper quality. I think these are good. Ooh, damn. Personally, I don't see the need to keep them in this case. I think this is more for storage. Like if I'm gonna put them in my pocket, I'm definitely gonna use the case that it comes with. And judging from this case, like I'm a fan of the white because it's got a really nice silver stainless steel on the outside of it. So I really think that these are the only stainless steel ones. Uh, I'm gonna double check though, of course. So as you guys can see on the back, it's got a very, very nice Louis Vuitton logo and that is actually lasered in. And you also have on the outside of the case, very thin Louis Vuitton all around the edge of it. On the inside of the case, you guys can see the gold LV logos all around circling the outside edge of the white and of course the earphones themselves. Having the see-through is a very nice touch. If you have them out on your desk, they look really nice. It's a very nice aesthetic. Of course, this question is gonna come into play a lot. Is the aesthetic worth the extra 700? And that depends solely on you. I can't be the person to tell you go buy them or do not go buy them. Chances are a lot of you guys will not be picking these up because it is ridiculous. Like even for a pair of over the ear headphones, I wouldn't pay $1,000 for. Anyways, enough talk on that. It's sort of like a magnet. If you have it open, it will just close automatically. You can push it all the way back and you can make it stay, of course. So these are the ear pods straight up. And uh, so close it, showing that it looks like we have all three bars filled. Let's go ahead and open this letter. This is, oh, this is just a straight up microfiber cloth that cleans the whole thing. And it's got Louis Vuitton logo in there wipe my dusty paws off. Spick and spell. So as you guys can see on the right headphone, there is a multi-function button, which does the pause and play, skips forward if you press it twice, backwards if you press it three times. You can even press and hold it to activate your voice assistance. On the left earphone, you have the left volume rocker and the right volume rocker. To insert your earphones, just in case if you guys didn't know how to do it, you just put it in your <laughs> ear. The actual way to do it is like there's like some sort of tilting process, which I'll go ahead and demonstrate in some B-roll shots. To charge the earphones, you just pop them in the case and then on the back you have a little USB-C port, which I think is really nice because USB-C is the new wave. They hold about three and a half hours of listening time when fully charged. And if the case is fully charged too, they hold an additional two time over charge. So that means I can charge them once, fully drain them, charge them again. If you didn't know how to charge it, they tell you just plug it in. You want to learn about health and safety, huh? To prevent any risk of hearing damage, check the volume before inserting your Louis Vuitton headphones in your ears and listen to them at reasonable volumes. Please limit the time you spend listening to them at high volumes. Excessive sound pressure from your Louis Vuitton earphones can cause hearing loss. So it's pretty cool actually. Um, these are able to be stored in a negative four degree temperature and that can go all the way up to 113 degrees Fahrenheit without melting. But don't charge the battery in extreme temperatures because just you shouldn't have batteries in extreme temperatures in the first place. I mean, if you do, you're risking but like you, nothing's probably gonna happen, but just be careful, you know what I'm saying, with your batteries. Do not attempt to open your earphones. They have a water and sweat resistance rating of IPX4. We're gonna go ahead and test the AirPods according to what I should not do in the health and safety manual. If this video gets 100,000 likes, I will burn these in molten lava. I'll figure it out. Do not drop, sit on, or allow your Louis Vuitton earphones to be exposed to water. How are we hanging, good? Moisture. 
Do not place heavy object or use excessive force on the earphone buttons. Do not let your children eat $1,000 AirPods. Clean them with a soft, slightly damp cloth. Hang on. I thought I wasn't supposed to have moisture near them. Do not soak or submerge. Remove them periodically to allow your skin to breathe and your ear relax. Magnetic induction technology for connecting one earphone to another. So you're saying I'm using magnets in my brain? And then they just have like some, if they don't work, do this and yada yada. So let's see here. This is right. So just twist. I see what, the, oh, it just like made a little noise in my ear. Oh, they both just synced up. So I guess first impression, um, the left one doesn't really fit in my ear because it's too small. I can change the sizing, but I'm not too worried about it right now. Wow, they're really noise canceling. They're pretty noise canceling from what I can tell. But let's go ahead now and pair them to our device. Hey, we connected. It's like little fish scales. So I'm going to go ahead and test future song. Let's go ahead and listen to Call the Coroner. I can't play the audio because I'll get demonetized, but I'll let you know how I think of the sound quality. They're very noise canceling. So if I definitely get the other sizing on the left one, I'll be in business because it's just a little small. It sounds like I have a lisp right now, but I really think it's how good the noise canceling. I have a lisp. It's because I can't hear myself. Do I have a lisp anymore? Lisp. So yeah, I mean, with the bass boost in them, like the highs, they sounded great. Like they, the snare wasn't like too destructive in my ear, even at full blast volume. A clean, good hearty bass, which is not something you can usually get in a headphone when it sounds like, it more sounds like a note rather than like a vibrational bass, if you guys know what I'm saying. So overall, I would have to say these headphones, in my opinion, do deserve the price tag because they are Louis Vuitton, they're designer, they're an exclusive luxury item. However, I also think that these are not worth the $1,000 price tag because you could just go ahead and pick yourself up a pair of the same exact headphones for $300 instead. However, though, the AirPod memes will be put to rest. Let me go ahead and play the same exact song at full volume with my AirPods, and I'm gonna go ahead and tell you guys if I really do notice a difference. Keep in mind, the $1,000 price tag does not always reflect sound quality, so I'm gonna replay the same song at full volume and do it again. It's a good song regardless, but the noise canceling, not there. I actually noticed right off the bat that the highs are automatically just way louder. The high snare notes like tss, tss, like that tss, in your ear. With the Louis Vuitton earphones, I actually noticed that there was a really good compensation for the range and it didn't hurt my ears whatsoever. It actually sounded really good. And I'm also playing it at max volume so I can keep the same control and try and get the results that are going to be the most accurate. And the bass is like, it's not as full. The mids are there though, like the mids of course sound good. So, I would have to definitely say in terms of sound quality, the Louis Vuitton ones are better. Also keep in mind that initially these headphones are $150 more expensive than these ones if you don't get anything Louis Vuitton on them. The collaboration itself though is great for collectors and people that really like Louis Vuitton as a brand. I just don't think if you guys are trying to look for the best pair of earphones to get, these are not going to be the ones for you. I lost my AirPods once in an Airbnb and they were found by someone and given to me, but imagine losing these, $1,000 down the drain. I would be more comfortable going to the gym with these because like I'd be working out, they'd be in my ear, like I'd know if they fell out. But if I'm just traveling, like running around on a plane, take a nap, fall out my ear, no idea, walk off the plane, 